Hi, I'm Nick, and today we're going to be drawing on a huge ass canvas. Basically, I have like zero idea of what I'm going to be doing. Um, it's for a competition, and I have like seven days left to do this, and I've given it like zero thought. I kind of wanted to do like a portrait kind of thing, but I don't think I'm going to have time. Anyway, I'll show you how big this canvas is, and we should start sketching straight away because I might not finish this and I'm scared of it. So this is a canvas there and for a size comparison, let's see, oh, yeah, you can see me. It's huge. So I don't know what to do but Let's just start. So after a, like two minutes of thought, I came up with this gorilla kind of sketch. I um, actually, there's lots of memes going around about Harambee and to be honest, I thought they were funny. Um, and the whole situation is a mess with the zoo, but uh, it kind of inspired me to do this gorilla. And um, I was watching Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor and Connor has this huge gorilla on his chest and I have never done a gorilla before so let's do it. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, Sharpie for this. I've tested out the Sharpie on the canvas and it actually works and it doesn't like bleed all over the place. So it should be working. So uh, let's transfer this onto that. Let's get into it. Alright, I have finished the sketch. Here we have the gorilla face. I think he's looking pretty cool. I can't tell if it looks like a her or a him yet, but we will see when it's finished. Whenever you had like a sketch and you actually like draw it on, it always looks different. But yeah, uh, and here's the ferny things here too, and the leafy things here, and more ferny things here. So, we will start getting into it. Uh, for this one, I'm going to use the Sharpie pens that I got here. It's like a big t pack of like, I don't know, 20 or something. Called the Neon Pack or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Electro Pop, that's it. Limited edition pen, so I think I need to buy more of them. And hopefully I don't run out of them, but I'm going to be using these two colours. Uh, two greens, two greens, which look like this. Uh, Grey for the Gorilla, which looks like this, which kind of looks more purpley pinky and I don't know in this shot maybe it's just a camera uh, yes yeah, so I'm gonna be using this gray for the gorilla and I think that's about it and brown for the eyes maybe let's get into this design alright so we're finally going to get into the drawing uh, sorry for all the massive intro I, I don't know how that all piled up to be that big this is a pretty big video anyway uh, there's a lot of stuff to draw and a lot of it is just taking a lot of time because it's such a big area to uh, to fill in with the Sharpies. Um, what I'm going to talk about in this video is, <laughs> I have no idea, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I think I'll look up some like Gorilla Facts, probably. Let's look up some Gorilla Facts while I'm talking about it. <laughs> Alright, so apparently Gorilla's arms are longer than their legs. That helps them uh, be upright. That's cool. Um, they can use simple tools and learn sign language. That, that's great. Um, and gorilla beds are called nests. What? Did they like write a name on them or something? Did they name them after they made them? What, why can't, why, how do you know they're not called beds? Why, how do you know they're called nests? I don't get that. Young gorillas often make their nests in trees and older gorillas make their nests on the ground. I get that. It's kind of like when you're young, you always want like the top bunk. And then when you're older, you're like, eh, it's easier to get out of the bottom one. That, that makes a lot of sense. So probably like the older gorillas have like uh, arthritis and they get woken up pretty easy. And uh, you don't want to fall out of a tree uh, when you're half asleep and, and you're struggling to get up. So that makes sense. Uh, so clearly gorillas are very, very intelligent beings. Probably maybe more intelligent than me. Sometimes I use sign language and uh, grunt. So the Sharpies were making me feel a little bit woozy and not great. So... This time I'm going to be a bit smarter about it and I'm going to wear this. So with my new mask, 
let's go through some more gorilla facts. Gorillas usually don't drink water from lakes or streams. They get most of their moisture from food and morning dew. Did they mean mountain dew? Because I'm sure like people discard a lot of mountain dew these days into the uh, into the wild. Um, I'm sure they could probably drink from it. It wouldn't be good. I, I, don't, I think Mountain Dew pretty wrecks anyone, really. <laughs> gorillas included. Uh, so that's about all I know about gorillas, um, for real. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the rest of the video, I'm gonna. Just, I'm not. I don't even know what I'm gonna talk about. Uh, but yeah, gorillas. That's enough for gorillas. Uh, if you know a gorilla fact, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to know your gorilla facts. So now we're up to drawing the uh, the leaves and. We're sort of over a quarter and maybe just before halfway finished with the artwork. Oh, I have something to say. While we wait for the paint to dry, or the Sharpie, should I say, uh, I'd like to just like say a few points. You're probably wondering why the hell would anyone use Sharpies to do this canvas artwork and that's a good question. Uh, before I answer it, I wish I could use the excuse as to say the Sharpie fumes got to me when I made this decision. Decision. But it didn't. Maybe they're getting to me now, even through this. But paint would have been a much better option and I have no idea why I didn't use them. With that being said, it looked kind of cool. It's kind of like a faded jeans kind of look, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let's get back into it. Yes, let's get back into it. Um, I still don't know what to say, so we're gonna like limp through this whole rest of the video. Uh, <laughs> I hope you really like my personality or else this is gonna be a horrible experience. Uh, so what are we doing here now? We're doing some more leaves again. Uh, yeah, this just took a long time. You could almost see my butt crack there, so I apologize for that. Luckily, I didn't have to blur anything out. I, my pants were high enough, so that was a good thing. Uh, even through the mask, yeah, I was getting the, the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? A bit dizzy and nauseous, maybe because I was just drawing all day and... You know when you're, like, really into something? Whoa, that's freaky. You know when you're, like, really into something, um, and you keep drawing and you forget to drink water, um, and you can't derive all your water and food from mountain, mountain dew and your food, you need to actually drink water, unlike gorillas? Um, yeah, that's kind of happened to me, and then I feel a bit woozy and I feel a bit... Um, dehydrated at the end of it, so I think maybe that had more to do it with it than the ma like the the fumes. The mask probably took away most of that. Um, so it just took so long to do this artwork because it was so big. Yeah, usually like if this was on like an A3 page piece of paper, I think I would have finished it in probably six hours or something like that, all up, including making a video probably. But because this one was on such a big frame, 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters, it took um, it took uh, over two days worth of drawing, probably spread out. Uh, what I did want to say is this did I did get this in time for the competition. I didn't uh, win unfortunately, uh, but everyone kind of liked the uh, the title of the artwork called Harambi. Everyone was kind of laughing at that. So I'm guessing they're laughing at the joke of it being Harambi. Uh, if they're joking uh, about my work, then uh, yeah, that that kind of hurts me. But uh, let's just kind of re like repress that and just think positive. So <laughs> they were laughing at the joke, not my work. Uh, but yeah, I didn't win it. Um, unfortunately, it's uh, it doesn't matter too much to me. It was my first competition, an art gallery piece, so I'm not worried. But here it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please tell me what you think in the comments. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this drawing. I sure did. It was fun and I've never done anything like it before. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of these types of drawings or artworks. Um, this one is going to be featured in an art gallery, so I'm looking forward to that. Should be pretty cool to have my artwork in a art gallery for the first time. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now, but not forever. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook or click to see a random video below. I'll catch you down the road.